let us discuss this problem this is an easy problem so problem number t78 so what this problem says this is so let me first make the diagram and then we'll discuss the so we have a mass m that is attached here capital mass m and now there is a another mass m that is attached here and let us read a large mass m and a small mass m hang at two ends of a string that passes over a smooth tube so this is a tube that is a smooth so this is a, a smooth tube so let us say tube is a smooth no friction now this passes through a smooth tube as shown in the figure the mass m moves a circular path which lies in a horizontal plane so this mass basically is moving in a circular plane a circular path so this mass is moving in a circular path are you getting so this is the circle in which this mass is moving and the question says uh, the length of a string from mass m to top of the tube is l so this length of a string is l so this part from top of tube to a small mass m this length is l and theta is the angle this length makes with the vertical so this angle is theta this is also given so this angle is theta what should be the frequency of rotation so that m remains stationary so this means first i have to find what is omega so that this mass remains stationary now this is easy one you see what are the forces that is acting on this mass mg and there is a tension that is acting here so the mass is remains stationary so this means i need t is equals to mg so this is one equation i have now since this is a smooth so this tension is same as tension in this string so in this string tension is t this side are you getting so let us say this let me make another diagram so this string is here tension in this string is t and this is equal to mg now let us say see the equation for this this is moving in a circle now t will have a component this side this is this angle is theta are you getting so this angle is also theta so this side will have t cos theta this side will have t sin theta are you getting now if you write down the equation now on this mass there is another force that is acting in downward direction you will have mz downward direction now this mass is moving angular velocity is let us say omega so i can write the equation of circular motion so towards the center i have a force t sin theta this should be equals to m v square by r or m omega square i think you know what is m omega square r so total force towards the center is equals to mass into acceleration acceleration is omega square r and now this length is l so this length will be l cos theta and this length will be l sin theta are you getting on it so if this length is l you can prove yourself this length is l sin theta because this is theta so if this is l so this is l cos theta this is l sin theta so radius is l sin theta are you getting now sin theta goes out so you will have and now i know what is the value of t t is mg if i plug the value of tension mg is equals to m omega square l so from here i can find omega mg m by m z by l and this is the under root so this is the angular velocity now question says uh, what is the time period so you can say time period is 2 pi by omega what is the frequency question also ask what is the frequency so 1 by t this is the frequency that is the 2 pi by omega 1 by 2 pi by omega so this becomes omega by 2 pi so you can write what is the frequency for this motion is 1 by 2 pi 
and omega is given by this under root m by m z over l are you getting or not i think we are getting so let us copy this one first so this is the frequency that is required by which the smaller mass should be moved so that the bigger mass remains stationary are getting so important point in this question you see uh, this motion is moving in a circle so i have to break this tension this side t sin theta t cos theta i have to write equation of equilibrium vertical direction so that is t cos theta is mg basically that equation is not used in this case and you see in the radial direction so force to our center is t sin theta is equals to mass to acceleration m b square by r v square by r so r is also equals to omega square r omega square r r is this length is l so this length is l sin theta so this becomes omega square r so from here now this tube is smooth this is given in the question tube is smooth this means tension in this string and tension in this string will same because tube is smooth tension will not change throughout the string from here to here the tension will not change so tension will remain same and equilibrium this mass t is equals to mg that is a capital mg now see what will happen if i increase the omega now if i increase the omega i can see from here itself you see if i increase the omega tension will increase because tension is directly related to omega this means if i increase the omega tension will increase once this tension will increase this mass will go up because now t is not equals to capital m so this mass will move up and once this mass will move up this radius will increase basically this length will increase so i will have a bigger circle are you getting or not so basically somebody can ask write down the equation of motion when this omega is changing with time some something of like that you can find acceleration of this if omega omega is given to you can find the acceleration of capital mass m i think you are able to understand this one so those who have not copied please copy fast and then we'll discuss the next problem easy one this is a concept of circular motion so in circular motion two equation is important one is in the tangential direction another is in the radial direction in the radial direction total force is equals to mass into acceleration and acceleration should be in the radial direction in the radial direction acceleration is b square by r that is also equals to omega square r so if you have copied this one then i can go for the next problem you have to find out the frequency for this problem so frequency is capital mg divided by ml and root and 1 by 2 pi you have to multiply also so this is the frequency let us go for the next problem 